My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's talk about the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. So the story is pretty solid for the most part. Again, this is just an expansion. This is not like a full fledged game. You know, we're we going to have to wait for the actual Spider-Man sequel for that. I think if you just play, if you just do the story missions, I think the game is like five, six hours. But if you do like, you know, the side missions and the challenges and stuff like that, and you trying to get that platinum trophy, then you might get 10, 12 plus hours worth of uh, of other game if you guys remember towards the ending of spider-man ps4 uh miles reveals to peter that he can also do do some things that he can do and a little bit more than that because miles is i'll get into that later <laughs> you know but you know so this takes place after a uh, spider-man ps4 uh, again, pretty solid story for the, uh, you know, uh, most part, you know, Miles is starting to, you know, come into his own, you know, and, you know, getting used to this new life as the second Spider-Man and uh, stuff like that. And, you know, finding out who he is and his history. But they got some pretty decent characters in uh, the game. Miles' best friend, Genki, uh, uh, Miles was his mother, Finn, uh, Troy... <laughs> No matter, bro, you can't, you honestly cannot escape Troy Baker. This, this dude, he's, but even the role that he, like, he's in this game, it was like, like, he's there, but he's really not there. <laughs> I still believe, at least in my opinion, that I think that the story was better in, uh, you know, the actual Spider-Man PS4, but that's kind of to be expected. That's, that's a full-fledged, fledged game. This is just an expansion. So gameplay-wise, the gameplay is pretty similar for the most part. Like if you played Spy uh, Spider-Man PS4, you gonna be in familiar territory playing this game is really not that much different the only the, the, the only difference is like miles can do a little bit more he has electric powers you know so which is called venom you know and i was saying like while i was playing the game and like streaming i'm like bro like it the way miles's powers would work is like one minute you can't do something and then the next minute like i guess miles i, I guess when he's put under like a lot of a stress or you know when he's like cornered like he'll just get a new power just out of nowhere again i i i don't really i didn't really know too much about miles because i didn't really like really read like a lot of comics like that growing up i don't i don't know exactly like how he gets these new powers but they really don't go into like no explanation of it in like the game like miles is just like what is this and he just has a new power. <laughs> he, and, he, and he just gets new powers like nothing. Like, this man can turn invisible. This guy has electric powers. He can, like, literally explode in just electricity. Like, he's like a, he's like a black... Uh, <laughs> he is like Electro and Spider-Man combined into one. And it's just like... Bro, this guy... Miles is open. <laughs> Miles is overpowered. Like, some of the stuff that he can do... And he's only, like, what... 17 i think in uh, the game he can pretty much do everything that spider-man can do plus more playing the game on ps4 and then playing it on ps5 now i did play i did start this game out on ps4 i played like my first three hours on ps4 and like again i <laughs> again i know it's tough right now to get a playstation 5 because i i've had some viewers be like bro i don't feel like playing miles on ps4 <laughs> You know, I know it's hard to get a PS5 right now. But again, I started this game on PS4. It's not like it's bad. Like, it, if like we all played Spider-Man on PS4 when it came out in 2018. And we didn't really complain about that. Like, now all of a sudden, like, you can't play. <laughs> like, it's just funny how some people feel like you just can't play no games on PS4 no more now that PS5 is out. So, like, we all loved you know, playing spy, you know, playing spy, uh, playing spy, playing Spider-Man on PS4. So like, really, it feels the exact same as that game, game, game did. There go my favorite streamer. <laughs> Imagine being broke and still playing on PS4. <laughs> I suck a 
still playing that 1080p 30 frames per second. <laughs> does it feel better on PS5, sucker? Of course it does. Ain't no 60 frames per second on a PS4. Ain't no ray tracing support. You don't got... You don't have the power of the haptics. You ain't got that. But it's still a fun... <laughs> It, it, you can still have fun playing this game on PS4, but of course, it feels better, it looks better on PS5, as it should. It, 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 it freaking better. But you can still have a lot of fun playing this game on PS4, because I was bad, because I was having, because I was ha ha uh, having fun playing this game on PS4 when I, you know, first started my first three hours. I'd, I'd probably give the game an 8.5. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Again, this, this is not a full-fledged game. This is like Spider-Man 1.5. Like, <laughs> you know, this is kind of them going into the, the next one, but not really. So it's like, it's like an expansion. It's right in the middle between PS4 and 5. I can't wait to see what they actually do with the sequel. The only thing, um, and why I gave this an 8.5, um, like, I, I and, and I hope that they do this in the sequel. I want them to take it to the next level with not only the gameplay but also the boss fights especially like comparing again comparing these to the batman games i feel like when it comes to the combat and the gameplay in the batman arkham games it just has more layers to it it has more depth more things that you can do spider-man the gameplay is fun it's great and you know using all the Gad, you know, and using all the gad, the gad, the gadgets. I knew I was gonna stutter there, but uh, you know, using all the gadgets that they have in the uh, game and uh, stuff. I mean, it's cool, but I, I, I've always felt like, and I, and again, I'm not even a Batman fan like that. I love Spider Man way more than Batman, but those Batman games, you have to admit, like the combat and just everything just feels more layered with those games it just has more depth to it more things that you can do more like advanced stuff and i feel like in order for them to get you know these spy I'm, which which these games are great as you know as is but in order to get to the next level i feel like in some i feel like insomniac has to add you know more mechanics to the gameplay i feel like they can step it up with the boss fights i feel like miles morales like the last fight you know was great but um and spy and spider-man ps4 had some great boss fights as well but and maybe god of war has made me guilty of this like i don't i i i i i just feel like some of the boss fights can be more epic than they actually are so for example like in spider-man ps4 when you know you was going against a uh, uh, shocker or vulture electro scorpion rhino whoever like those fights even though they were like kind of fun they weren't really like epic and i really don't feel like they did the villains like and their abilities justice of what they can do now rhino and miles morales is way more like of a threat but once Miles gets his electric powers, it's pretty much wraps. Like they can't <laughs> like 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 it's really simple. And that's even if you're playing on like the hardest difficulty. It's really like simple to beat these bosses. I just feel like even though Insomniac has done a great job with these games, I just don't feel like they truly capture the, you know, powers of what the Spider-Man villains are capable of doing. Again, going back to the Batman games, like those boss fights in the Batman games, you know, with Mr. Freeze or, you know, Bane or Ra that Raj al Ghul fight, like all, like those fights are memorable. I feel like really outside of maybe the Doc Ock fight in Spider-Man PS4, there really was no like memorable fights in these Spider-Man games. So that's why, and again, maybe God of the War, it's kind of made me like, <laughs> you know, just because those fight, you know, when you have a boss fight in God of War, you have a epic boss fight. I just don't feel like it's to that level yet in the Spider-Man games. So in order for them to take it to the next level, which these games are great as is, like I said, but in order for Insomniac to take it to the next level with the sequel, I would like to see the gameplay get more layered you know, with more things that you can actually do, just have more depth, more meat and potatoes to it. And, you know, for them to actually, you know, 
up it with the boss fights and stuff and just make them even more epic and hopefully they do do that because again for insomniac to tackle this game and they are already doing like this great of a job like the games are great again but they can improve you know so hopefully you know that's what they do and once the actual sequel comes out and yeah i mean that, that that's really all i have to say about miles morales i'll give it an 8.5 it's a great game to have alongside uh ps5 or ps4 you know you can play it on ps4 and uh yeah man i hope we uh, see more of uh, miles in uh the sequel which i do believe we will you know but what did you guys feel about uh miles morales did uh you like it did uh, you love it did uh, you hate it you thought it was okay do you uh did uh, you enjoy this game more than spider-man ps4 you know let me know all of that down in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next video my brothers and sisters i'll catch you otherwise in my next one all right